Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? I'm borrowing Carl's mug. He's not here. He won't know. Adventure awaits. Anyway, it's a cute one. Mm, happy Wednesday. I have to actually double check. Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Whew, I'm glad you're here. Nothing heavy and deeply spiritual today, I don't think. Um, I'm sure it will come because that's how my brain works. Um, yeah, just working on stuff with the kiddos, starting back up to get more active now that the brain busy seems to be subsiding. I can work on some physical busy and take care of my body because I'm not 20 anymore. Whoa, we never knew that. <laughs> Sometimes I eat and act like I'm 20, but I'm really not. And so I have to be a bit more cognizant of what's happening. I don't need to land in the hospital right alongside Carl. That would not be helpful can't take care of other people if you are not taking care of yourself. So I have two things I'm doing for activity. One is free. Um, it's called refit. It's a free program at, um, it's held at my church run by a wonderful lady named Cindy. And she is there twice a week, Tuesdays, six to seven and Fridays, five 30 to six 30. So she is aiming at getting people before they get home like you're already out come work out then go home and it is the high time of when people are at the gym because that's the other thing that i am working on um and that's the gym so we'll see how long it lasts <laughs> um, consistency will be key obviously as it always is but with winter coming I think it's a good thing to get uh, motivated and get started and just plug through. My goal is to make it longer than the people who commit in January. That's my goal. To do well and get where I need to be. Um, so anyway, I was crunching the numbers because I have to know if it's worth financial sacrifice, right? Um, and I was crunching the numbers and looking at it going if I go three times a week then this is how much it costs per session and basically it was the cost of a Starbucks coffee per session and I'm like okay well that has to be worth it to me not that I spend money on Starbucks every day not nearly as much as I used to but um, yeah making coffee at home and hitting the gym three times a week I can do that and then I also have access to take a friend anytime I go to a session. And so Carl can go for free on the weekends with me. And um, if Jimmy or Hannah want to go, or if I want to take a friend, um, then that's good too. And so, yeah, they're all they're free um, because my sessions in my head cost a certain amount per session. And so if I skip a week, I'm looking at that going, oh, I wasted that amount of money. That's how I crunch. Ha! That's funny because the gym is called crunch. Anyway, wasn't meant to be funny. Oh, the sun is rising out there and it is pink and blue and beautiful. And there's a golden and green tree. And all the colors are magnificent that I'm seeing today. And All the colors are so great and I'm so grateful to a God that created in color um, I have a boss who's colorblind and he's an atheist and I would think man is it because you don't see color <laughs> is it because you you don't have a spiritual mindset because you can't see the colors in this world I know that's not true I have other spiritually minded friends and family who are, are colorblind but I just sit and I'm in awe and I know there's something beyond me way 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 beyond me and beyond this world 
that could come up with this. And yeah, I think stepping back, mulling things over, seeing where I've come from, taking time to think, really meditate on some of the stuff that happened this summer and this fall so far, and then just sit with all of it. It can make me go into a place of awe. And the colors that I'm viewing out my window just add to that. Um, I think I really love fall now. I'm in the fall of my life as well. Um, as far as middle-aged and, um, yeah, uh, there's not, a, adventure awaits, but it's a different kind of adventure, you know? It's the adventure of everyday life. And what will it bring to us? What will the kids be doing? What will I be? Who will I meet? Who will be a divine interruption to my day? And I love that kind of adventure, that thought process. It's a really great thought. They call them thought experiments, but it's a good train of thought to get on. Is what's coming? And where have I been? Because when I look back, I see the thumbprints of God everywhere, everywhere. And I would go through it all again to get to this place of peace and calm and joy and security for the kiddos. I'd go through it all again. I don't mean financial security where we have so much money we can throw it away. That's not what I mean. I just mean security, emotional stability where they know they are loved Right. Yes. I'd go through it all again to get them to a church that loves them and cares about them as is and says, hey, let's let Jesus do whatever Jesus is going to do with you. And let's ask questions and let's revisit some things we thought we already knew. Because Jesus taught with a you have heard ABC, but I tell you. And so our church makes space for questions and says, hey, Questions are not the opposite of faith. In fact, they are evidence of faith. Having to have everything rock solid and certain, that's depending on yourself. Not a lot of faith there. It's depending that everything, all the conclusions I have come to are correct. Therefore, it is dependent on self. Not a lot of faith in God when certainty is the God. And I would bring my kids to a place of being able and welcome to ask questions and be safe in their spiritual excursion. I'd go through all the pain again to do it, to bring them to a safe place and myself to a safe place. That's kind of what I'm mulling over, and the sky just launched me into that. Sorry, this is long now because I've been muttering. Anyway, happy Wednesday from Stella and me. I love you. Please know that. Spend a little bit of time dreaming today. Bye.